want to feel like God controlling a game? <laughs> That's probably one great way to describe what our next guests are involved in. Our next guest announced a very cool new game here at GDC called Roos. And we're going to learn more about that. The senior producer at Ubisoft is Mathieu Girard. Close? Close. C'est bon. Enough. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Matthew. And, uh, of course, here in the U.S., everybody calls him Matthew Girard. So but that's, yes. how, that's how we would do it otherwise. That's but, fine. But there I am trying to show off with Matthew Girard. It's close. And our next guest, let me see if I can mess his name up. No, it's easy. He is the director of marketing for Intel Software and Solutions Group, Roger Chandler. Roger, welcome into tomorrow as well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you guys not only working closely together on what Ubisoft is doing, but tell me about Roos. Uh, first of all, what is that game about? And let's talk about how very cool and very different it is from most games. So, Ruse is a brand new real-time strategy game concept from Ubisoft. It's a genre which has not changed much in 15 to 20 years, so we really wanted to make something new, something innovative. And it's a game which has a, a strong creative vision divided into three main points. The first one is dimension, immensity. We want to make a huge map, lots of units to control so that you really feel the, like the general. The second point is deception. We want to give you tools to bluff, fool, manipulate your opponent. So you have this whole new gameplay layer with the deception skills. And the final one is we want to make a game which is very intuitive, very immersive, easy to use, so not this classical static interfaces you see in old school strategy games, but something very uh, user friendly, but not at the expense of the depth of the game, which comes from the size of the maps, the number of units, and the combination of deception skills. Hmm. So it is all about deception, thus all the various ruses that you can do, I guess. But when, when I mentioned talking about feeling like God playing this game, in many ways, because you have total control of a lot of stuff and a great overhead view, if that's what you choose, w wander around the area, the combat field, for example. It's truly amazing what you guys were showing. And obviously, working with great processors makes a difference. I bet it works really well on the i7 core processor. Huh? Well, coincidentally, it <laughs> coincidentally. works wonderfully well on the core i7. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, in, in fact, uh, you know, we've, we've worked with Ubisoft for a long time, all the way back to uh, the MMX days with our processors and 1997, but um, Ruse um, has been, it's been built from the ground up to really take advantage of multi-core processors and for, you know, a lot of your listeners, um, multi-core is just, it's, a, it's basically a processor with multiple brains in one. Mm. And it allows you to, it's kind of like a freeway. If you have a single lane, lane freeway with lots of cars going through, you can't really get all the cars through as quickly as possible. But if you have multiple lanes, you can get a lot more traffic through. And that's what a multi-core processor allows you to do. And with Roos, it's really, um, you know, they've done a tremendous amount of work to take advantage of those, those threads and those cores, mm -hmm. which basically allows the gamers to have a, a more meaningful experience. So it's like some of these threads are then taken up by doing certain aspects of the game, right? Performing certain functions of exactly. the game where that brain, if you will, is concentrated on doing that element and that element alone so it does it exceptionally well and really makes for awesome gameplay. And, of course, the visualization goes without saying. It's just spectacular. Yeah. And exactly. even, even part of the game that makes it look like it's being played on, on someone's dining room table because you see, uh, depending on the angle, you're, we were seeing, uh, you know, living room furniture or something in the background. And it was like, now that is just too cool. It's like setting it up on your dining room table and all of this 3D related kind of stuff. I mean, you really are immersed in this game. I would say you are, you're playing just as God when you zoom out in the game. So you have this headquarter where you see all the... Uh, the, the, the main armies you're going to fight with, and then you zoom in, and then you become a man with this very immersive environment. So just a simple figure in the environment, in the, the playable map you have in the game, it's one billion polygons. It's something unique you have never seen in one another game. One billion polygons? Yes. Now, what does that mean in, <laughs> in just down-to-earth consumer terms? Because it, it sounds impressive, yes. but I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means about 10, 20, 40 more times uh, than what you had in previous strategy games. Jeez. What it basically allows uh, with that, it, it allows for the game, um, the resolution of the, the visual quality can be so sharp as well you can have so many more types of objects or characters within a scene. So if you're doing a large battle, you can imagine it pretty much uh, liberates you to have a lot more soldiers on the field or a lot more, uh, you know, just all kinds of stuff happening at once. And of course, a lot of different elements to playing this game that you're, we're not used to in most games either. 
a uh, lot of strategy kinds of things that you can do that you never could before. Yes, exactly. This new uh, deception layer, it allows you to create false information. So like creating a, a decoy army which can make the enemy believe he has something coming to him, then he can divert his force to another direction. Something which is going to hide information, like camouflaging your base so it's protected from the enemy, or even steal information from the enemy, like uh, catching a, a glimpse of his plan so then you can anticipate what he's going to do. Wow. I mean, w one of the things about... Um, it's, it's really an honor to be working with Ubisoft. They, they, they have a history of really innovating with games and translating all these technological innovations into fun gameplay. And so it's a... And that's one of the things that we really like is making sure that games don't just look real, but they act real and they yeah. feel real and you can really get into and it. And also the Core i7 really allows you to maximize the experience because the, it's seamless, you, everything appears instantly, so it's really completely immer immersive thanks it to that. It really makes this Iris Zoom engine yes. uh, work so much better. Yes. I mean, we were watching in the demo you did for us here at GDC, uh, kind of coming through a big cloud of smoke because a tank blew up and so forth, and getting right onto the battlefield and then making another move or changing some strategy and so forth. It just blew us away. You know, well, and, thank you. And it's, it's very well done. When will we expect to see? Roots Winter available? 2009. Ah, okay. So just around the corner and into tomorrow. Yes. And, uh, and certainly available for play on your PC. Yes. You bet. Yes, and, and with an i7, because that's going to play so much better. Of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> absolutely. Ubisoft or Ubisoft, we've heard it different ways, but you say... You can say Ubisoft. U Ubisoft, okay. Well, we will. Ubisoft.com and Intel.com for more info. Gentlemen, thanks very much for Thank being you. with us and kicking off this hour of our coverage from GDC. Thank you, Dave. Thank we're, you, Dave. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues. Dave Graveline right here on the Advanced Media Network.